Smartphones and social media sites are the communication tools of choice for millions of Generation Y members all over the world. And in China, millions of those free spending, upwardly mobile 20-somethings have become the most sought-after consumers by big American brands and their advertisers. Eunice Yoon has more. American car maker Ford has a little insider knowledge on how to market to young Chinese. Chelsea Chen is a 20-something from Shanghai, the very consumer Ford wants to target. Chen says China's one-child policy has changed the way her generation lives. It's because we don't have any brothers or sisters. So our schoolmates, our colleagues uh, might be our best of friends. I think uh, our generation are... Um, just uh, we, we, we are looking forward to uh, group activities. Their love for group activities, such as karaoke, prompted Ford to sponsor China's version of American Idol, helping to sell cars like the Focus, now a favorite in China. Companies everywhere see this country's 20-somethings as perhaps the most important up-and-coming consumers in the world. Market researcher P.T. Black says the secret to wooing them is to understand young Chinese move between a modern China and a world of tradition, and that they aspire to master these competing worlds. That's what they call the chameleon. You can be someone who can fit into any circumstance. And mastering different circumstances, knowing what to wear to a picnic versus what to wear to a movie opening, that's the kind of mastery that kids here are really looking for. Pepsi says young Chinese are also looking to live for themselves. So the U.S. drinks giant hired a popular amateur singer to front its international Live For Now campaign here. They are in the process of discovering their self-identity much sooner than any of us does. They are more open-minded and they want to debate about things. Young Chinese are technology obsessed, checking social media when choosing brands. Young people in China are bombarded by brands every day. So the competition among companies to grab their attention is more fierce than ever before. Though winning that fight could pay off if China's 20-somethings become fans of your brand. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eunice Yoon in Shanghai.